The more you read, the better you become at reading, right? Pretty obvious. But the wonderful thing about reading in a foreign language is that not only will you gradually improve your reading speed and reading comprehension, but you'll also learn new vocabulary and grammar patterns. Moreover, reading will indirectly improve your other language skills, like writing and even speaking and listening. Finally, you may learn something new through the language, the content of what you read. It's not surprising then that when my students ask me about one thing they can do in their own time to improve their English language skills, I often tell them, read. <laughs> But what if you can't get to a library or bookstore? What if you don't have money to spend on books? What if you don't know what books are at a good level for you? What if you move around a lot and don't want to carry any books or other printed material? Well, don't worry, because in this video, I'll share with you 10 online reading resources that you can start using today for free. <laughs> Welcome lovely language learners, it's Mork Sensei and welcome back to my channel where I give you tips and strategies to improve your English. And today we're talking about online reading practice resources. Now there are many sources of reading materials for learning English available on the internet, but many of them are not free, are not easy to use, don't include a large range of levels, are too difficult, etc. So in this video, I'm only going to talk about a few. These are not necessarily the best for you, but they are websites that either I as a teacher or my students have used with success. Keep in mind that new resources are being developed for learners all the time. So don't be afraid to search for new materials or learning platforms on your own. In fact, if you already know of any great reading practice websites that I don't mention in today's video, please comment below. Okay, my first resource is called Read Theory, a completely free online reading practice platform that gives you an extensive or very big library of reading passages with comprehension questions that are exactly at your reading level. Read Theory was actually designed for native speakers up to grade 12 of high school in the United States, but it's great for people learning English as a second or foreign language too. After creating an account, you take a placement test that takes about 20 minutes depending on your reading ability. Based on your test results, Read Theory places you or puts you into a level and it will give you reading passages that are suitable for you. After every passage you read, you must try to correctly answer several multiple choice questions. When you finished a set that includes a reading and questions, the system shows you the answers and explains why you may have made a mistake. If you continue to do well on the questions, Read Theory will raise your level automatically and award you with a badge. The Read Theory platform is easy to use and tells you how you're doing with progress statistics. You'll get interesting reading materials at your level that'll challenge you. And not only will you try to understand what you're reading, but you'll have to try to think critically about it. The platform is mobile, and of course you can practice whenever it's convenient for you. There's a lot of reading content on Read Theory and the library is constantly getting bigger. Now I use Read Theory in my English language classes as a teacher too. There's a section in Read Theory where you can invite a teacher to follow you. Then the teacher will be able to view your progress too. Read Theory and the next systems I'll talk about in a second all use a popular method in American schools of measuring a learner's ability to read, and it's called Lexile Level. 
The lowest lexile level is 5L and the highest is 2000L. The higher your lexile level, the better your reading ability is. If your level is below 5L, then you are a beginner reader in this system, or BR. If you start using read theory, you'll soon come to learn your lexile level. This knowledge is useful if you want to start using the next five online reading resources I'll talk about now. Okay, so like read theory, Common Lit is a reading website for native English speakers who are learning to read in their own language, but it's also good for you. This site is used by teachers, but independent English language learners can also use it. If your teacher has an account, she or he can give you one too. Then you'll get access to audio, a highlighting tool for annotations, and answer keys. <laughs> However, you can still use the basic functions of the system if you do not have an account. It's much easier to use on your own if you know your own Lexile level. This way you can choose reading passages that are right for you. At first, you can only see the levels according to the American grade school system, but once you click on a grade, you'll also see the Lexile level of each passage. Now, similar to Common Lit, ReadWorks has passages that are put into groups according to vocabulary levels too. The passages come with detailed lessons and resources for teaching the text. These resources are created for teachers, but it's possible for you to use them for self-study too. The website includes a large collection of non-fiction and literary articles, integrated or mixed with reading comprehension and vocabulary support. Like with Common Lit, you can shadow read while you listen to audio and hover your mouse over more difficult text to get definitions and see illustrations. There are questions you can answer about the reading too. Most lessons are best for up to grade six in the American system, so they're great for learners at beginner reading levels. Since the site is made for native speakers, some of the topics might seem a bit childish for adult learners, but there are some passages and resources for higher grades as well. Unfortunately, you will also need to be invited by a teacher with an account if you want to access all the function. Next is Tween Tribune. Tween Tribune is a website from the Smithsonian Institute. It offers reading passages from Lexile levels between 500 and 1,600, so it's more for intermediate English learners and higher. Interestingly, you can often read the same article at different Lexile levels, which might be very useful if you want to talk about something you read with other learners who have different levels of English than you. If you want to access the quizzes, however, you have to be invited to join by a teacher who has an account, and that account might have to be based in the United States. But you certainly have free access to the readings without an account, often accompanied by a video. Curriculum Pathways is another free website that has resources you can search for by content type. And they also have Lexile grade levels so you can find the best resources for your ability. You don't need to be part of a class or get an invitation from a teacher to use this website, but you do need to sign up. Just click the sign up link at the top of the homepage. Each curriculum pathways resource has a lesson guide that you can use. These guides are more for teachers than students, but you can use them. And they share the goals of the lesson, necessary materials, and answer keys. Next is News ELA. News ELA is a website that provides current event articles at different Lexile reading levels. The website also works with a teacher or a class. Like Read Theory, however, 
You don't need to be invited by a teacher to use it. Just sign up by yourself. You can join a teacher's class at any time later. News ELA has its own YouTube channel with videos that teach you how to use the site. So far, the sites I've mentioned have all been American reading resources that are designed for native English speakers that you can use too, and they use the Lexile system for grading your level. The next group of resources focus on your needs as a learner of English as a second or foreign language. Breaking News English is a website that I've used for many years with my students. The website is constantly changing and is not very beautiful. However, it offers a huge amount of news stories at different levels that you can use for your own self-study. There are currently almost 3,000 articles and seven different levels, something for everyone. There are many types of activities that you can use with each article too. The creator of the website created an auto recording of every single reading in his lovely British accent as well, so you can practice shadow reading. There is so much to choose from, so be sure to find something to read that really interests you. You can usually find a PDF file to download that contains all the activities and answers for each article. Yet another news website you can use is called News in Levels. This site is much newer than Breaking News English, but it's similar. It provides world news articles at three different reading levels. Each short reading passage is paired with a video, so you can work on your listening skills as well. It also offers a Skype connection option uh, for kids to practice speaking. Similar to other systems, English language learners can use the different levels to track their language learning. Next is Extensive Reading Central. This is another not-for-profit organization dedicated to developing an extensive reading approach to foreign and second language learning. What is extensive reading, you ask? Well, click here or in the description box below for my video on that topic. The owners want to keep this site as free as possible, so as a learner of English, you should definitely take advantage. Okay, finally, I want to share with you another website created by a teacher in Japan. It's also perfect for practicing your reading in English. Dream Reader consists of articles you can search for by topic. Each of them has a few multiple choice comprehension checks for you to gauge your understanding. In the Easy English section, you can find pictogram readings, images with just one or two sentences that are usually quotes from a famous person. A great way to get a quick English reading lesson into your busy schedule. Okay, so those were 10 websites you can check out if you want to improve your English language reading skills on your own. Actually, I have a few more websites for you, but uh, I don't want this video to be too long, so I'll provide a link to where you can find all of them in the description box below. Remember that if you do decide to create an account with any website, you'll probably need to verify your email address with the software. After you register, you'll have to click on the verification link in an email that is sent to you. However, if you register using social accounts like Google Plus or Facebook, this verification is probably not necessary. Okay, lovely language learners, do you use any of these systems I mentioned already? If so, what do you like or not like about them? Also, are there any other reading resources you like to use that I didn't mention? Please share them below to help other learners and perhaps help me too. I look forward to reading your comments. Remember, to be a good language learner, you should try to be autonomous and self-directed. This means you have to make efforts to study and practice on your own and make your own decisions on what the best tools for your learning are. Make SMART goals, 
and practice regularly and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, Mork Sensei signing out. Mwah! Thank <laughs> you.